You're listening to the Property Nomads podcast, your one-stop shop for property, business, and travel-related content, tying it all together to help guide you towards success. If you like the podcast, please share with others, subscribe, and leave us a review. So get your gear together and let's get going. Welcome to another quick cast for from even the Property Nomads. And today is about why there is no right or wrong in property investing. Now, for those who have read the book, Buy to Let, How to Get Started, or you've listened to it on Audible, you'll understand this is something we speak about quite a lot. By the way, if you've not bought a book yet, or you've not listened to it on Audible, uh, links will be in the show notes. Go check it out as well. Really useful book to get you started in property investing. In the book and in on this podcast before, I said the same thing. Uh, just imagine you've got this giant umbrella and it's an ethical umbrella. So anything you do within that umbrella is completely legal. It's within the parameters of the law. Just imagine that umbrella. Now, within that umbrella is all these things you can do in property investing. You can buy buy to let properties. You can invest in HMOs. You can invest in service accommodation. You could uh, do land sourcing. You could do developments. You could be in the property training sphere. Doesn't really matter what you do, but imagine all of that in that umbrella. And this quick cast is about why there's no right or wrong in property investing. You see a lot of people pushing their own strategies. You see a lot of people saying, oh, you know, service accommodations, crap. You want to be doing buy to lets or oh, HMOs are the way forward or land sourcing is the way forward. I oh, know pub, de- pub developments are the way forward. You don't want to be doing any other strategy. It's all crap. And the reason why that is all crap is down to the area, down to the area and More importantly, it's down to what you want, down to how you want your life to be like. It seems uh, for all on social media, and you know, I'm not on social media. Personally, I'm not on social media that much. Matt and Rachel are the forefront of the company on social media. But my understanding is it is still the same. Everyone pretty much creating this facade on social media of, you know, how big are my cajones? How big are my nuts? How how much property have I got? I've got this amount of property. I'm working on this and I'm working on that. I think it's important to to share the successes of others, but it's not necessarily about the size of your portfolio. Everyone's going to be different. People are going to want to invest uh, in maybe five or six buy to lets because they want to, you know, they might only need a thousand pound a month and they might be happy with that. There's nothing wrong with that. You might get people that go into property that want to buy hundreds and thousands of uh, properties. Again, nothing wrong with that. You might get people that come in that just want to buy HMOs and nothing else. Again, nothing wrong with that. Doesn't matter if it's service accommodation, conversion, sourcing, whatever it is. It's whatever works for you. It's whatever makes you happy. It's whatever you're comfortable to an extent. It's whatever you're comfortable with. Of course, that being said, pushing boundaries is always useful. I think that's useful mentally. It's useful to have in in property as well. You always want to be testing yourselves and pushing yourselves. That's just my personal belief. But ultimately, listen to this. If you're in and around on social media or you're getting a bit flummoxed about and what do I need to do? Where do I need to start? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm here to tell you that there is no right or wrong in property investing. If you want to, again, just have five buy to lets, fine. Work towards that. You've got your goal. Work towards it. Once you've achieved it, fantastic. Then reanalyze your goals. If you want a mixture of buy to lets, HMO, service accommodation, uh, and, and development, again, absolutely fantastic. What I would say is brainstorm that, put it all down on a piece of paper, then focus on one of them. Follow one course till successful. You don't want to go off on having four different strategies. You've got to take the time to build up a strategy, get good at it, get it outsourced, and then move on to the next one. And again, this is property. It doesn't happen overnight. You're not going to wake up on Monday morning and then the following day you're an absolute millionaire and you've got 100 properties and life's great. It just don't work like that. That's the reality of it. But that being said, don't let other people belittle your dreams. Don't let other people belittle your visions completely down to you what you want. You're going to know your lifestyle. You're going to know what you want. And as long as you get what you're after, you can argue that is the most important thing as well. There is no right or wrong in property investing. And again, it goes back to what we said at the start under this ethical umbrella. As long as you've got the ethical umbrella in place, you'd be absolutely fine. Do it within the parameters of the law. But do find, and I have been told, that a lot of people do get put off by all these sort of big hitters and big players that they create or see, sorry, on social media. And number one on that, it's very easy to create this false for card 
on social media, uh, what people say sometimes and what people do are two different things. That's life. And number two, don't be intimidated by those people. We have to remember that if you're new to all of this and you're jumping on social media or you listen to podcasts, that some people might have been doing this a lot longer than you have. So they're, they, they're going to have more knowledge. They're going to have more experience. And there's nothing wrong with that. At the time of recording, I'm 31. And in the last three and a half years uh, of property, the amount of people that uh, have a few more years on myself that have said, I wish I was younger when I started. I wish I was younger. Um you know, when I got going in property. And I say the same thing. I started when I was 27, you know, 27, 28, I forget. I say the same thing. I wish I was younger. I wish I was, you know, in my teens, late teens, investing in property. But it is what it is. But if you're new to it, don't be put off by other people on social media. It is always important to share the successes of others. And we find that the property community in general is very, it's a very open community, it's a very safe community, and everyone is there to support each other. Don't fear competition either doesn't matter if uh, you know, there's a lot of people operating in your local area. It's going to be about your relationships. But ultimately, point of the quick cast, there's no right or wrong in property investing. Do what's right for you, as long as it's under that umbrella, the ethical umbrella. Do what's right for you. Again, if that's a few buy to let brilliant. Crack on, do that, succeed and achieve. If that's having a multi-million pound portfolio and having 50 properties, great, no problem. Crack on, do what you want. If you actually don't want to build any assets, but you want to source property, so finding property and then selling it on to other people, um, then great, crack on with that. If you want to flip property, so buy, renovate, and then sell, and then you want that as your main strategy, then absolutely crack on. It's whatever works for you, and it's whatever works with your lifestyle as well. We're all going to want to have different lifestyles. We're all going to want to put different you know, elements into our, into our property businesses. It's no different here in TPN. We've put a lot of you know, work and effort into a lot of the stuff behind the scenes, always whooping ass, each to their own and not on social media too much because it offsets what the other two do and I'm just not a massive fan. Again, that's personal choice and I'm happy with that. But don't worry about what other people think as well. Hopefully that helps. Happy investing, go away, do what's right for you, engage with other people, enjoy the success of other people and go out there and create your own success as well. We fully believe that you can do that. We fully believe that you'll be able to do that as well. Just be consistent, do what you need to do. 